Hey guys, welcome back. We got a short video for y'all today. The other day we were at Swap Meet and we picked up this tack for 25 bucks. Uh, it's an auto gauge. It's got a built-in shift light. Uh, whenever I was talking to the guy about buying it, uh, he said it was on a six-cylinder truck. And I thought to myself, well, I've had some sun tacks and there's little resistors in the back of them. You have to cut to run either four or six cylinders and those little resistors are hard to find. Um, you can find them at Radio Shack. But... Um, to be able to run them on these tacks, there's uh, two wires coming out of the back, or it's like two looped wires originally. And I looked on YouTube to try to find a video on this. I couldn't find one, but I found an instructional um, instruction sheet from Autometer on uh, how to adjust it. So to be able to run a six cylinder, you cut the brown wire, and to be able to run a four cylinder, you cut both wires. So as you can see, both of these were cut. Um, so I was just going to do a quick how-to video on how to solder them back together, which I, the way I think would be the best to solder them back together, and um, then we'll test it. Okay guys, so here's a little closer view. Here's the orange wire and the brown, the brown wire I was talking about. Now most tacks aren't going to have these cut. They will already be attached together like so and just be looped and hanging out. On the instructions for auto meter, it says do not push these into the case. Um, and I imagine that so you can adjust it so if you can leave the orange ones connected and the brown ones cut that's gonna be for a six cylinder if you leave if you cut both sets of wires that will be for a four cylinder so if, as you can see both of these are cut we're gonna I'm gonna show you what I think is gonna be the best way to solder these back together so they don't um, so they don't vibrate and come loose uh, and then for those of you that don't know, most of these tacks are universal, all different brands. The white wire is always goes to the light so that the face of your tack will have lights at, at nighttime or in a dark area. The black wire is going to go to a ground, a ground source, a uh, chassis ground. The red wire is going to go to a power source, ignition key, switch, whatever. And then this green wire is going to go to the ground side of your coil whether it's a HEI distributor or a regular coil this will go to your ground side of it All right, so here we have our orange and brown wires a couple things we're going to use for this is a couple pieces of heat shrink don't you see those uh, some rosin core solder of course some wire cutter strippers and a soldering iron uh, we're also going to use a heat gun to heat to shrink the heat shrink because my lighter it's a little windy out here and the lighter isn't working so here we go we're gonna cut back a little bit of wire on these we cut the old wires off the old exposed wire because um, you never know how long that copper has been exposed to the elements you don't want a corrosion in there so we're gonna strip back a little bit we are going to twist them together And then we're going to add some solder. Before you solder, I like to get a fresh, good spot on my tip. So I try to get all the old solder off. Try to get the flow in there good. Do the other wires the same way. Strip them, twist them. And solder them. We'll let them cool off and we'll put the heat shrink down over them.
to get them to seal up the best we can. I'm going to do this brown wire the same way. Try to get the wires even length so that you get a good seal down there at the bottom. Alright, there it is. Now we'll go test it. Okay guys, here we are over the car. I made some extensions for these wires. This is not permanent. Um, but the red, the red wire, I have this little alligator clamp. It goes to a power, which I'm going to use the back of my Altair because I have power there all the time. <clears throat> and the black wire goes to a ground. So I'll use something like this. Looks pretty good. You can see the needle jumped it's a good indication that it works and then the green wire i put this little crimp on it and i'll put it on the negative side of the coil so i'm going to unplug my tack that is in the car and plug this one in All right, so this tack is on right now. So we're gonna try to start the car. Okay, okay guys, so you can see that it works. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I hope this video helped answer some questions you have. Remember, like, subscribe, comment, and we'll see you back next time. Thank you.